take a sort that you normally would have done uh, in person by having your students cut out and glue down how you can complete this in Microsoft Word. So I've taken one of the sorts that I have here um, and I am going to start by just going ahead and screenshotting uh, the background or the area that I wanted students to fill out. I am going to get rid of the name section because they don't really need it. Now I could also recreate this but for my benefit I'm just going to take a picture of it and then I can exit out. I'm going to come in here to my PowerPoint and just grab a new page. We're going to say insert, uh, nope we're going to say design and then we're going to change our background and we are going to choose a picture from file and I'm going to go ahead and grab that screenshot that looks like this. Now if you notice it doesn't really fit neatly so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna customize my screen um, and actually before I do that I'm gonna just come in here and I'm gonna say insert and we're gonna insert that picture just to see size wise what my issue is. Okay so here's my screenshot and we are going to insert it and see if I stretch it, am I going to like the size that it comes up to? So let's just stretch. Okay, I'm actually, you know, generally okay with that, but if I wanna make it even bigger because I know my students, the bigger I make something, the better it will be for them, I can come up here to that design. We're gonna change the size of our slide. We're gonna make it a little taller. Let's make it a little taller to start and we're going to say okay and we're going to ensure the fit for now. Okay so now my screen's a little bigger. It's okay if it's still not a perfect fit. Okay and now that leaves me some room at the top for some directions so maybe I come up here and I say insert text box and this is actually going to be in vertebrate sort. And Yes, I am not the best speller, but there we go, problem fixed. And then we can choose to, uh, let's see, go back to home, make the font a little bigger, center on the page, looks good to me. Okay, so now I can go ahead and screenshot again, okay, once you have down the, what you want the students to place it into, I can take another screenshot so this time it will match to the size of the page better. So I'm going to take a screenshot, go back into design, going to change my background and I'm going to go pick that new screenshot once it opens up. Oh, that's not the screenshot. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. And now I've got the back of it. My kids can't mess with it. And I'm going to want to insert a new slide that will hold all of my sort cards. Now, when we look at the sort here, I could remake each of these cards. So I can come in here, make a text box, and type it in. Other option is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start taking screenshots of them. It is my choice if I want to keep the border or not. I'm going to just go right inside my border. Okay, and I'm going to screenshot just a few of them to show you, but I will not do all of them. Um, let's center that a little bit better. Okay, let me take two more, and I'm just screenshotting. If you're on a Mac, it is very easy to do Control, uh, sorry, Command Shift 5, and that's how I'm keeping the same one the whole time. Okay, now let's come up to Insert, and let's insert those pictures that I just took. Okay, so there they are. We'll insert them all. Now, if I want my students to really be able to see the difference between these, because right now they just look like, you know, open text. In picture, I can choose to give them all a border. Okay, so if I click, now that has a border. I can do the same thing. Optional to give them a border. It's just something that I think visually. Now, I would want to make sure that this can fit. So I'm going to say copy and I'm going to paste and I'm going to resize him so that in theory if he's a fish he would fit in there. Okay, so now I know he fits. I can bring him back and I know that's the size I've got to make all of mine down to. So I'll come back here 
and I will resize. And if you notice, they line up and you can know that you have the same size. As long as your screenshot was the same, you will be able to do that there. So in theory, you would continue this with all of yours. I usually like to make a directions page, so I would be able to get rid of this page now and I could say invertebrate sort directions, copy the sort cards from slide three to slide two, place them in the correct column, okay? Other options, so I like to separate them. If your students, if you don't think they can handle it, you could just have all of them hanging out down here at the bottom. So you could also create, let's say I want them off to the side. I can come back in here and I can place them over here and your students will see them still so I can sit them off to the side and they will be visible for my students there. If I don't think my kids can handle copying and pasting, this way they can just drag and drop them in the correct spot. It's very easy then to input this into whatever online system you are using for your students to fill out. So that was the quick, easy way to take a pre-made sort that you already have and adapt it to be used in PowerPoint.